Hi and welcome back to Divine Lee Design Studio. For those that don't know, my name is Nicole Reed, and I post weekly quilting and crafting tutorials. So today we've got a, a crafting tutorial and we're going to make this gorgeous little bow tie. You can have this for your little boy or your little girl or if you've only got fur babies you can also make it for them. Super quick, super simple, we keep it nice and simple for you. You just need a hot glue gun and a little bit of sewing. Um, and some supplies which you'll find all listed over on our blog so let's get started okay so today we're going to make this gorgeous little bow tie um, it's quick and easy to put together and it is adjustable and this size that we're making today is from about age four to about age seven and i'll include some pictures at the end of my 12 year old daughter actually wearing it around her neck and it wasn't that tight either because it is totally adjustable so there are a few things that you're going to need today you're going to need your fabric of course and this is fat quarter friendly so you'll be able to use it out of a fat quarter we're going to need some fusible fleece we're also going to need some quilting rulers a rotary cutter some thread snips and scissors you're also going to need some thread to match your project, some hand sewing needles, and I use these larger wonder clips to help me hold it together when we get to the final stages. You're also going to need a some cam snaps, so two sets and the setting tool, and you're also going to need a tailor's awl and a quick unpick okay so first things that you need to do is cut your fabric now if you're using directional fabric you need to be very aware of which way your fabric is going uh, today i have got my directional fabric here and my pattern actually goes either way on this particular one so i've got anchors going this way and anchors going that way but i want to cut my piece at 10 inches with the anchors facing the right way and then it's going to be in height will be six and a half inches so this is 10 inches by six and a half inches we're also going to cut a piece of fusible fleece half the size of this so it'll be 10 inches by three and a quarter then for our next strap which is this part here three inches in height and 15 inches in length and this part here is this little bit here and it is four and a half by three inches so it's three inches this way by four and a half so they're all the pieces that we need to cut and now what we're going to do is we're actually going to, to set these two pieces aside. We're going to take our fusible fleece and we're going to attach it to our bow. So all you're going to do is flip that over and you're going to head over to the ironing board and you're going to press that in place. So we have our iron, we have our fusible fleece, we put the bumpy side facing up and then we get the wrong side of our fabric and place that on top and then we press that in place and there you can see it's pressed in place next what you're going to do is you're just going to put your right sides together and you're going to grab some pins or wonder clips and you're going to pin that in place then you're going to head over to the sewing machine and using a quarter inch seam allowance you're going to stitch along this long edge here so now we've stitched that together and you can see there that we've got the stitch next we're going to get our pinking shears and we're going to take some of that bulk out it's got our jagged edge next we're going to turn it through and here we go we've turned our piece through next you're going to take it to the ironing board and making sure that your seam is nice and flat you're going to press that in place once that's pressed in place you're going to bring your short ends together and then you're going to stitch along here so just along there using about an eighth of an inch then we're going to turn that through and we're going to lay that nice and flat in the center like so giving it a really good press then we're going to create our bow so what I do is with this piece facing towards you I take this bit back and then fold that on top of it and then this bit to the center there so you can see there it looks like it's concertinaed like you're making a fan 
once you've got that in place and you're happy with it all lining up and you can see there that my seam is lining up nicely you grab your wonder clips place one in the center so it holds in place place one to the side and one to the other side now you're going to take your thread and I've got a red thread here tie double it over so I've got two strands going through the needle and now we're going to stitch through these edge bits here so making sure that everything's lining up I'm just going to go through the edges just here and this is just going to hold it in place and then just to the front and I'm just going to go through those two bits there and this is all hidden by the little piece that goes in around the center of the bow and again on that side of the seam and I'm just going to do a couple of tack stitches I'll tie that off like so and again through that hole and then I will just snip that off and then remove your wonder clips and then you've got your little bow so now you can set that aside now we're going to make the neckband so you're going to take your 15 piece, 15 inch piece of uh, strip fabric and on each end you're going to fold that in around about a quarter of an inch and I just sort of eyeball that And now we're going to fold it in half with the wrong sides touching and then we're going to bring our raw edges into the center and fold it up on itself like so then we've got our strip okay so now that you've done that we're going to stitch along here all the way along at the edge and you want to get as close as you can to that open edge there okay so we've sewn that all down and you can see there that i've got as close as i can to the edge so now we can set that aside next we're going to take our four and a half inch piece by three inch and again we're going to grab our iron we're going to take that in by quarter of an inch then we're going to fold it in half with the wrong sides touching and then we're going to come in at half an inch now the one thing I do like to do sometimes these don't go together very well so I'll use the Roxanne's glue just to hold that in place Put a little bit there and a little bit there and then I just pop that down and give it another press then I'm going to repeat for the other side so again a little bit of glue it's not necessary to have the glue but it does help and half an inch in and then we're just going to fold it onto itself okay so we've folded it in on itself so we're coming in on our short edges half an inch on either side and on the short edges we're going in quarter of an inch then we're going to fold it onto on itself and then we're going to stitch down this long edge here and then that's what you end up with so now what we need to do is actually flatten that out so that seam is on the back so I generally just get something that I can stick in there and then I just sort of roll it around until it gets to sit nice and flat like so and then I'll give it a press and then you can see here that it's sitting nice and flat so what will happen is this thing can wrap around the center and that conceals all your seams but first you need to heat up your hot glue gun because we've got to take this edge here and we're going to take our bow tie and where the bits at the back are matching just here that is going to go down onto the center of our neck 
part so what I like to do here so just mark it with a pin and then or you can use a friction pen if you want to and mark it it doesn't matter you're not going to actually see it so that's okay you can do that too so I'm just going to get my hot glue gun and I'm just going to remove that pin and then just put a little bit of glue there not a lot just a little bit and it's just enough to hold that necktie in place and then I'm just going to place that on like so and you may need to put a little bit more and that's okay so just come in from behind and put a little bit there and you're just going to hold that in place to secure it so you can see there that that's now on there now we're going to take this little piece here and we're going to put that on to our necktie so I like to just give it another press just before we get to put it on there and if you find it's not sitting properly just grab your clapper and you can do that and that will make it nice and secure so at this point we're just going to wrap it around to make sure that it's going to fit and where it's going to to finish up so what you want to do is you want to make sure that this is sitting in the center so what I do here is I just grab my hot glue gun and I just put a little bit there place that into place and you can sew it down if you want to but I just find it a lot easier to use my hot glue gun and then I just bring that last bit around pop a bit there and then press that into place just hold it in place so it doesn't move so that's it it is on there now and the last thing to do is to actually put on our little snap buttons so you can see here that I've got the snap buttons so all I'm doing is placing them one near the end and then one about an inch and a half to two inches away from it and that's enough to give you sizing um, so for a four-year-old you'd actually do up the two buttons like so um, if you were doing it for a larger child you would just do the one button and you'll see the pictures at the end of my daughter my 12 year old daughter wearing that so all I'm going to do is I'm going to get two of these and two of the female parts and I'm going to place them here so all I do is I just grab my friction pen and my tailors all and my little ruler and the first one I put it in just where the seam is finishing so I just place it in the center there and I just pop a hole in like so be careful not to get yourself then I just place so it's going to do up like this so this one will be on the outside here and then I put that on there then I grab the tool that I need and give it a squeeze and you can see there that it's in place and then as you can see on this one so this is the one that I'm doing right now it is one and a half inches up from that one so I find the center of this one and I place the one and a half inch mark on that and then I grab my pen and I just place a mark in the center about there again I just put my tailors all through that push in the head of it grab the female part grab my tool give it a gentle squeeze not too hard and that one's done so that is that side and this side it's the opposite so I've got to flip it over and then I'm going to feel where the seam is at the end that I folded in and I'm just going to put a little mark there in the center and then I'm going to measure up one and a half inches from that point so that's about there
Then I'm going to pop the hole in. Then I'm going to get the cap and put that cap there and get the other part of it. And gently squeeze. Now I double check to make sure at this point I double check to make sure that I'm at one and a half inches up. So we put that other one in there and now we just grab our cap pop that on like so give it a little bit of a squeeze it just helps it hold there grab our tool and give it a squeeze and there we go our little snap is done And there's our bow tie, all adjustable and ready to be used. Well, thank you very much for joining me today. I really do hope that you enjoyed making this cute little bow tie. It's super simple to make once you, once you get down to it. Just a little bit of hand sewing and a little bit of hot glue and you've got this gorgeous bow tie. Um, we would love to see some of these creations being made so don't forget to share them over in our Facebook group and if you haven't joined head on over the link is underneath this video uh, hit the request to join and then you can share all your creations. so if you like this video today give it a thumbs up down below and don't forget if you are new here hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon beside it and that way you won't miss out on any future posts and as always we love to hear from you so leave us a comment down below and as I said don't forget to share them over in our face Facebook group and also over on Stitch Talk where we are now starting to build a bit of a community and you can find those all those addresses and groups all underneath this video and that's it from me this week and I'll see you all again next time bye for now <laughs>